Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you, I've referenced this in a, many of my videos, which is how to, when you are trying to scale uh, web crawling, how to rotate the user agent string, right? So I'm going to show you very simply how to do that and maybe apply it in one of the examples that we've already seen in many of my videos. Uh, so for that, I have kept ready one thing, which is the list of UA strings, user agent strings in a text file one per line and there are about 50 of these you can take this from me i put a link to all this entire project um in the in the description so you can you can you can get this because you can just copy this and this this has a good good mix of user agent strings of different browsers and different operating systems but also later so you don't get some old code from them and so it's hand selected it's a pretty good List, so you can just blindly take it for now but make sure you update it every three to six months at least okay so let's just figure out how to do this um what we're going to do is we're going to define a function here let's just define a function mm, get u a string or something you know I'll call it u a string ugly looking function that's good and then let's just define that let's just save it so that we have all the advantages of um rotate rotate ua ua strings i'm gonna call it that and then instead of that now we can do you basically then we just open the ua strings file over here and then read it okay line by line and a random line in it uh, is what we want right so let's just read it into an array lines equals open um it's there u a strings dot txt right dot read and that will give us and then and that array we need by using um we'll use a split command split lines okay so that will push everything into the lines um as an array okay so here what we'll do is we'll 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 randomize we'll pick one of these lines and send them back okay so for that i'm going to use a import random function and then i'm going to simply return that random thing so how you do it is you just say random dot choice oops of what of this level of this sort of array the length of that array from zero to that so it will give you one of those and send it back to you over here so what we'll do is we'll just print the get us string we'll just print that that should give us the a different us string every time so let's see if that is happening okay rotate us strings at py I'll just clear that python 3 rotate u oops rotate u a strings dot py none which is great isn't it so, so there's something that i've done here here is strings txt then split lines i think there might be a space here that's fine there we go. okay oh that's because it's not returning anything that could be a reason haha -ha. <laughs> there you go so this is different from the next one that's the next one that's the next one that's a bigger one that's a smaller one that's its cousin that's its brother whatever is going on here all right now let's see if we can apply this okay so we'll apply it in one of our okay let's see what we can apply enterprise tracker amazon why don't we apply it here 
So already we're using user agent string. If you're not seeing this video, please just look at it in the YouTube channel. You'll find it how to track prices on Amazon for shampoos, okay, and compare prices. So let's import random here in case um, we need that here. And the user agent string you can see is already set here. We're gonna use a random one instead now, okay. Uh, let's pull that here so it's easier to copy this. Just copy this function, really. That's all there is to, to be done. And then just call um, US string, get US string, guys. There you go. Then get US string will go into um, US string. Okay. That's it. So now your string can be just replaced just like so. It's always going to be fresh and new. All right, let's print. Let's see if we can run this. So what was the name again? Python three prize tracker Amazon dot py. It should just give us. Oops. What did I do? Um, where am I? Get you a string. <laughs> Let's just print this. You a string. Ouch. Something's changed already. It's very strange indeed. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I think one of the US strings are outdated. So guys, please get a fresh one. Uh, if you just Google US string, uh, user agent strings, a uh, list of user agent strings, there are lots of websites with hundreds and thousands of these <laughs> lists. Uh, you can get the, so this is, this has been around for a bit, so sometimes it fails. Um, otherwise, uh, that's how you do it. That's how you simply do it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much, guys.